Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to try, this is the first time I've ever done this. I'm going to try doing an ombre with a gold and a white because I don't have like I don't have a beige color of acrylic. I just have, oh yes I do. I do have beige. I have Gina's beige. Let me get her beige. Okay, so I'm using the white snowflakes from MVP Nail Designs. And then I'm going to use Gina, which is Cafe Nails by Gina. I'm going to use her salted caramel. And it is a, um, a beige color, very light beige. And I'm going to try my hand at putting acrylic in dual forms. We're just going to do one nail just to see how it turns out. Uh, guys, I'm going to try. I have, like I said, this is my first time ever doing the dual forms with acrylic. I am going to take my brush and I don't know, I really don't know how to do this. I've never done acrylic in dual forms. Alright, so which color would I lay down first? I don't even know. I really don't know. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try to lay down the beige first. I don't want to put too much because I don't know how much I'm going to need. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Alright, so, oops. Alright, so, so far I have my beige acrylic laid in here. Alright, if I mess this up, guys, I apologize. I apologize. Alright, so you want it to go from sidewall to sidewall. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I can do this, guys. Alright, I need to go ahead and get the white. Hold on, I don't want the... The beige is starting to dry, and I want to make sure it goes up that side wall. Make sure it's thin at the cuticle. And that's what it looks like so far. Alright guys, so as you can see, I went ahead and put the white in there. I'm going to flip it over. As you can see, I got the smile line going. 
and then well so this is more like of a French it's not an ombre but whatever I'm going to put it on the nail now I'm gonna go ahead and press it down on the nail I'm going to flip it over I'm going to press down until it sticks onto the nail okay and I'm gonna let that dry we're gonna just leave it alone and let it dry so give me one second alright guys so it has hardened it got hot and now I am going to pinch the dual form and we're gonna pop it off I'm gonna straighten it up Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I, I promise I can't do that again. That's like almost perfect. That is almost perfect. I can't believe I just did that with a dual form and acrylic. Holy crap. Holy crap. All right. Now all I got to do is file a little bit on the sides. Top coat it. And that's it. It's not an ombre girl, but I tried. It's still, you know, a nail bed color and a white. So I hope you like it. But that's how you would do it with acrylic. Wow. And I learned something new today, too. It's my first time doing it. I used the number four. And that's how it turned out. Wow. We have to get a close-up of this. All right. So I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to just file the sides and the front. Nothing else needs to be filed. It looks really nice. Look at the shape. It looks really nice. Um, you could even add a layer of builder gel on top to make it uh, more the strength uh, stronger. But let me go do that, and I'll be right back. All right, girlfriend. Here is your video. It was requested. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, I use Gigi's um, acrylics. Or I use one of her acrylics. It's called Snowflakes. And it is the white one with the shimmer. As you can see here, it is beautiful. It's opaque. It's gorgeous. Um, and then I also used Cafe Nails by Gina's uh, Salted Caramel. If you, any of you are interested, I'll leave their links down below. And that is that beautiful caramel color with the glitter. So we have a beautiful nail bed, and the dual forms I'm using are the YL nail dual forms. These are the big ones, the ones that I like. Now all I got to do is top coat that, and I'm going to use my Puddle No Wipe Top Coat, and we're just going to go ahead and top coat this nail. Now, if I had to do this again, I don't think it would be as good as this. This is my first time, y'all. I know I've said that already. My first time doing dual forms with acrylic. Cap your free edge. And cure. So, that's it, guys. That is my video. Here's the dual form we used. There we go. Let's see if I can get it all on the screen. There we go. Guys, there we go. Alright, so please comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget, don't forget to click on the notification bell so you know when I upload next. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed night. Bye.